Hello everyone, and today's video is about our kitchens. Our kitchen should be a very happy place, the heart of our home, and also uh, my cleaning routine or how I go about cleaning my kitchen. I am not an expert at all with cleaning my kitchen. I just like or try to keep my best to keep it tidy. Now, I want to do this video for her because it touched my heart because I do understand where it's some days where you just don't feel like getting in the kitchen and celebrating um, holidays or celebrations or just getting yourself in the mood to even clean up. So I want to do this for her because she is so sweet and so kind. I want to share some tips on how I make my kitchen a happy place, a place that I feel at home or homey especially if it's not my home I may be reading it and also some cleaning tips as well so the first tip is an instant mood booster and my mom taught me long time ago if I did not feel like cleaning up to listen to music and that definitely helps instantly another thing is I like to have a TV in my um, kitchen and I love to use my Roku box to watch YouTube or Netflix. You can also use fresh flowers, opening the blinds especially, burn a candle or a wax warmer and that instantly boosts your mood. I mean every single time, especially a Yankee or a Bath & Body Works candle. I also learned I learned about the fly lady. My mom told me about her and when my other two boys were smaller that really helped me manage my um, workload such as cleaning and you should check out her website because she's very helpful. Also recently I learned about Clean Mama. I love how she breaks her days down on Monday for example. She does the bathrooms Tuesday. I think she does this. Thus on Wednesday she vacuums. Um, and also, I love a bowl full of lemons. They also have a Facebook group that's really helpful. Um, I think they're getting ready to start their purge for the first uh, 14 weeks, I believe. And then at the beginning of the year, they organize their space for 14 weeks. Um, she has an excellent um, Instagram and also a blog that can really help you with cleaning and organizing. So I love those and check those ladies out as well. I believe I was on Pinterest a while ago and I saw this printout and I laminated this for my teenager. He uh, he doesn't follow it, but it is here for also my 10 year old when he gets a little bit older to follow the directions on exactly how to clean. Also, I made these little cards for my um, 10 year old as well so he can follow these as far as cleaning the kitchen uh, recently I have actually fired my teenager a couple of times <laughs> trying to help me in the kitchen because um, things are not as clean or I'm having to repeat myself and go back and put things back in the correct place or just you know it's not clean and you know it's being repetitive garbage disposal broken but these cards are really helpful because my 10 year old he's going to eventually take over and help out in the kitchen so I love these cards and I got the ring from Dollar Tree and laminated them the first step is to purge and declutter because a lot of clutter will just clutter your mind and you get overwhelmed number two you have to clean your space and then third of all you have to organize your space now I'm going to show you my chaos my mess and I it took me a lot of nerve to show you this and I just did it because I want to be transparent with you all I didn't want to put on this facade and I think sometimes when people are watching other youtubers they just show you that clean space that entertaining celebration space that organized space and right beside them they could have a total chaos mess but I just wanted to show you all that I'm human everyone's human and even though um, 
everyone's busy each and every day and we're not perfect and that I constantly have to go behind my two independent children and my baby pulling out things and my husband doesn't put things back so this is my struggle each and every day and they can be messy so now it's time to clean Now one thing I know that will definitely boost your mood and get you out of that drab feeling of your kitchen is refreshing your decor. You can just simply switch things around. These canisters or decor pieces were on top of my refrigerator for years. I had apples in them one year. Um, one place we stayed and 
Also, you can pick things in your kitchen. I have had apples, a red kitchen, coffee thing, uh, this color, blue, and also brown. And also, I've had a palm tree thing. You can also pick out fresh flowers or faux flowers. These are actually just some flowers I had in my Easter tablescape, and I just cut them. And I had them in my entryway, and I just want to use what I already had. And some items that I picked up from Dollar Tree. I had this uh, elephant as well and I was kind of tired of sitting looking at it in the living room so I just put it in the kitchen and also your special timeless pieces such as your KitchenAid so I love my mixer I always have it out on the counter and I also love cookbooks I'm so glad my mom gave me this cookbook stand and I'm so happy of all these Dollar Tree cookbooks that I have been finding lately so I don't leave them out all the time but just for video purposes they're out um, just to show you so and also I wanted an island in this kitchen and it's a little bit smaller than the one originally house that I we first looked at but because I couldn't get it I just improvised and I purchased an island um, off QVC QVC so I bring this in periodically to change the look of the kitchen you can also make your own coffee bar breakfast bar snack bar whatever makes you happy so here's the look of the kitchen all clean and I wish it looked like this all the time and it makes me so happy to see such a clean pristine kitchen everyone is asleep of course and it's all tidy. Now also another tip what you can do is keep a little soapy water in the sink throughout the day if you do not want to have um, or you do not have a dishwasher to load dishes at night to keep dishes piled up throughout the day so that will give everyone a chance to wash their dishes throughout the day and as they use them then they can clean up their own messes and also make sure at the end of the day they place everything in their proper place where it belongs before they go to bed and I still have to work on this myself which my mom gets on me all the time to make sure that the boys do that before they love to sneak off and go to bed so that is also a helpful tip home is where the heart is and the kitchen should be the heart of the home and Throughout the years, from moving from my parents' home to my own home, whether it was rented apartment, a town home, or a house, and then eventually our own home, I had to learn how to make my home, especially my kitchen, warm and inviting, which was really difficult to do sometimes. And, and it felt really impossible because it wasn't ours. Whether it was old and it was new, I had some old kitchens, and also I had some very new kitchens with new appliances but I tried to make it a part of us for the meantime and the other thing that I always try to make it a part of us in the meantime is also make sure that my boys had a meal on the table each and every night most of the time and that first started before I even could do any decor and then that was also always my second go-to so that is really helpful another tip what I always or thing that I always tried to do is I noticed that my husband when we first were together we had a kitchen table but we did not eat at the kitchen table because it may not have been a tradition for his family to do so I wanted to start doing that and also having conversation at the table so I started getting the boys to eat at the table and we eat with them instead of taking our food into 
the living room or the dining room and that also uh, made a great impact especially on my 10 year old and they really enjoyed it and it gave us a time to sit down as a family and enjoy now I know it's difficult sometimes and it has been times that we have not all been able to sit down at the table together and that's life but if at least everyone has a meeting place at the table that is good if you're familiar with Fly Lady, she always likes for you to go to bed at night with a clean and pristine shiny sink. So even if you have to take all your dishes out of the sink <laughs> and you did not wash them throughout the day, she likes for you to go to bed with a or go to bed with a clean sink. So check out her website. It's really enlightening and really helpful. And it helped me throughout the years and, and most of all I wanted you to be encouraged and not discouraged most of the time when you see people's spaces where they have it decorated and lavished out and organized you don't see their organized unorganized space or their cluttered space they only show you what they would like to show you just like on Facebook they tell you what they only want to tell you so, you know, I have my days where I'm discouraged or I have my sad or dark days where I did not want to get out of the bed. But I knew that my family was depending on me. Us as women, sometimes we do not give ourselves enough credit. And there is only 24 hours in a day. And I'm going to tell you honestly, most of the time when you see my tablescapes or anything like this, there is a 50-50 chance that there is dishes in my sink or there is a mess in my kitchen or I have laundry piled up. So I want you to be encouraged. Use your battles, face the day, and know that God does not give you more than you can bear. So guys, I hope that this video was helpful to you. And I'll see you all in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.